Hey guys, and welcome back to your favorite podcast. It's your girls here with Mindset Talks Podcast. Yes. <laughs> um, and we wanted to start this off with you guys and making sure that you guys remember to follow us on all of your favorite platforms, right? All. So this is going to include your Instagram, your Facebook, and your YouTube, where you can find us at Mindset Talks Podcast. And don't forget that you can also check us out on the radio every Friday at 9 a.m. WDJY 99.1 FM. Ooh, that was a nice little flow. That was like a nice little rhythm to it. I like the way that sounded. I try. Yes. That's what you do. Smooth things smoothly. Okay. Me smooth? I don't know. I was just trying to I was just trying to gas you, girl. I was just trying to gas you. We know what it really is, but you know, just Take the compliment and run with it. Take it and run with it. Ugh. Anyways, speaking of running with it, let's Uh-oh. just run right into the topic that I've been waiting to talk about, right? Have you? Okay. Yes. Um, I don't have a lot to say around it, but I got some things I want to say around it. Oh, so boy. uh, just giving a heads up now, spoiler alert, right, for the Squid Games Challenge. Um. You and I already have discussed that we've finished the show, but we have not talked about the show. We um, have not. As I in, do have some things to say, too. <laughs> yes, for the last episode. So if y'all were here with us last week, you know we did talk about the show. But we only had one more episode to get through before the show was wrapped up. Mm-hmm. And now we both know who the winner is. Um, before we say who the winner is, are you surprised? No, I'm not surprised. I feel exactly the same. Um, yeah. But you know me, I also am like, there's, I'm not going to say there's a conspiracy, but there's always like a setup. Like there's always a setup for somebody to win, you know, oh, here we go. Um, me all the time. Right. But yeah, so my was the winner for mm-hmm. the Squid Games challenge, which I'm sure many people probably weren't surprised by, to be completely honest. Yeah. Um, you know, she lucked out, I guess. Well, she was very smart and strategic in, in a lot of, of the different games and stuff, which I think absolutely definitely helps her. Yeah. And I'm going to say, you know, I say it's a setup, but obviously it's not a setup. But I jokingly say there's a setup. You know, she was in the military. She works for the FBI. Mm-hmm. So she has a skill set that most won't have, um, especially um, people who are considered as civilians, right, that have never been in the service. Right. So, um, you know, in military training, from what I've heard, obviously, I don't know, but I know uh, people are trained in such ways that we may not even be able to imagine and in such a strength that really allows them to possibly be a step ahead or many steps ahead of us. So, you know, I think that was a benefit for her to yeah. have had been in the military. I mean, aside from the fact that, you know, she was at gunpoint as a child. So, you know, her mentality, I'm sure, is automatically <laughs> different from most. Yeah. Um, and then working in the FBI, working with the FBI or for the FBI, you know, mm-hmm. obviously that's going to have some type of some serious training i'm sure uh for the job that you do so yeah um but you know kudos to her i'm glad she was able to come at the top you know as a woman it's nice to see another woman even though i'm not like you know super like feminine or like like a feminist or anything so yeah but it was just nice to see you know it wasn't she was up against two men and you know smallest one standing and she ended up being the winner yeah so. That's quite interesting. But how do you feel about that last episode and how it went? Um, well, I thought that you were going to go a little kind of like different direction when you said you had like a lot of things to talk about. So I don't know if mm-hmm. I'm going to like touch base on kind of like what your thought process is. Because, again, mm-hmm. we haven't like talked about it. Right. Um, but what, I don't just I don't even really know where to begin to begin mm-hmm. with, because. So like leading up to everything when it was just the three of them and stuff. Um, I thought it was interesting that the like game that they played was like hit a button and like see <laughs> see like what happens or whatever like look at the draw kind of a thing. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to say I knew what button was the right button to push and mm. you know nobody pushed it so um, yeah I don't know I just knew what it was 
But anyways, so the last game that determined the winner, I was so, like, annoyed and, like, upset and, like, I was just so disappointed, Mm -hmm. (laughs) like, to say the least. When they came out and said, like, okay, like, the last game is going to fucking be rock, paper, scissors, I was like, you have got to be kidding me. Like, that is the, like, most lame thing that you could have possibly done. Like, yeah, I don't yes, get I it. Yes, I know. I'm so confused by it. And, like, yes, they had, like, a twist of, like, the whole key thing and, like, whatever. But, like, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just think it was too much of, like, a luck of the draw kind of, like, a situation. And yeah. I don't I personally was just, like, so irritated by, like, I really lost, like, playing rock, paper, scissors. Like, what the fuck? Like, yeah. No, that that was a bit surprising. But at the same time, it wasn't surprising because in the original series, the last game was a childhood game. So I can see how rock, paper, scissors can tie into something like that being a childhood game because everyone, you know, everyone played rock, paper, scissors. But, right. again, her her strategy she pays really good attention to stuff and sure she, does. she's just like men always go for you know <laughs> rock and scissors and it's hilarious because right before like right when we were watching the episode and seeing that they were playing rock paper scissors i think it was at the at that part of the episode or even before we started the episode for the reason my boyfriend and i just did a quick little round of rock paper scissors and he Did you <laughs> He, Before you knew that that's what it was? He picked one of those two. Yeah, he picked one of those two. Either rock or scissors first. I want to say he picked scissors first or I can't remember. But I want to say he picked scissors first. But it was just funny because what he did was... And then we watched the show and then she's like... She said the same thing that he did. And I was just like, well, goddamn. Like, so now, you know, for me, that's something that I learned and I'm just keeping in my mind. But it's just... But she said it, and then, of course, how they edited the show, that's how it kept playing out. Like, right. you know, but it it was dumb that it was just like, okay, whoever wins this round goes and grabs a key. And it's just like, yeah. so I got to keep trying to beat her and then hopefully have the correct key. That's That, was, that part was lame. But I just yeah. think that the rock, paper, scissors part was the only way they can make it similar to the original series. Gotcha. With an old school game, because for them, um, the Squid Game was an old school game for them, a childhood game. Right. I mean, I guess so. I didn't really think about it in that kind of like a context. Um, so when you say it that way, it makes sense. But I was so highly disappointed about the whole <laughs> the whole situation, and I didn't even yeah. want to watch like the last episode. So I was just like, really, like you it waited dragged, for this. It dragged out far too long. Yeah. Far, far too long. Um, have you seen? I'm sorry, do you have more you want to say about this episode? Because I actually want to ask you about, like, after the episode. Um, well, I guess, well, I had one question, but before I do that, yes. I'm just, I'm so stuck and so curious on the fact, like, why you and and your man are sitting there playing rock, paper, scissors. <laughs> oh, we do that randomly. Like, it's just something we randomly do sometimes. Like, it's just be a rock, paper, scissor. And... Specifically rock, paper, scissors? Oh, yeah like sometimes you just bust out because it's just like oh who's gonna grab the remote rock paper scissors like sometimes if like you don't feel like doing something just do rock paper scissors and it'll get you your answer i am so intrigued by this but i must say <laughs> i'm just like oddly not really surprised that this is something that y'all do with each other <laughs> and i'm just gonna leave it at that i have no other comments healthy competition that's all healthy okay. competition that's interesting okay um all right so after <laughs> squid games <I> feel judged <laughs> oh, i'm just interested and not surprised at the same time mm, it's me girl you know you're gonna get something random yes um after the squid game so i i of course you know just like with love is blind or any of those like relationship shows that go and check the instagrams and um, I happened to actually catch some of them, like some of the cast members, uh, like going live because of, you know, the final airing, the final episode. Mm-hmm. Uh, so there's just, you know, like they have those parties and things like that for the finale release. Mm-hmm. And so I was able to come across some of them. And it's cool to see, like, who's still cool with each other and things like that. Yeah. Um, but I thought it was really interesting that my man sent me a screenshot of an article um, 
he actually sent me a screenshot of a few different things uh talking like of people talking about like what really happened on the show and things like that gotcha. and it said that the show wrapped up in february mm -hmm. um and my still hasn't received any money yeah i read that too um it was i guess though it was in the contract that she wouldn't receive payment until the finale like aired mm -hmm. is so it was just like I'm I'm honestly a little shocked that they're actually giving that much money. Like, yeah. Yeah. and then it's just making me a little curious as to where did that money come from? Right. Well, and how much is being taxed? Right. Like, she's not going to get all. Oh of that. hell yeah! Right. So it's just like, well, goddamn. But, um, you know, and there were there were so many people that didn't make it you know, far on the show at all and just kind of, I guess, spilling the beans or making things up about what really went down. Mm -hmm. um, things about, like, which I expected how, like, funky it ended up getting in that dormitory and sure. how they extended uh, the red light, green light game for um trey's mom to make it because they seen how close she was and they like it would make for a better storyline if the both of them were able to make it but originally his really? mom didn't make it yeah there were like people saying different things just about like how the um producers would kind of like favor certain people or um especially they would favor certain people like if people were already like um you know, like TikTok famous or Instagram famous, you know, if they had a large following, then they would try to like, they would kind of like rig the games a bit, I guess. So those people would be able to have an extended life cycle on the show, hmm. um, which sounds like hater talk too, but. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, you it, know, yeah, it's a TV show, right? Like you have to keep that in mind too. Yeah. So it was interesting that, you know, people, I guess, since the finale came out, we're finally able to say these things. But um, I would think that would still have some sort of NDA that they would have to sign, um, you know, in regard to the show. But maybe not. Or maybe that's not one of the things. But, yeah, so it was just interesting to see. Like, it's just like, oh, this is a show. And then it was just like this anticlimactic finale. And then... Awful. <laughs> You know, and then you just hear all these sour puss ass people like, oh, they played favorites. And it's like, oh, you must have got picked last for dodgeball in ele elementary school. You're one of those. God, yeah. Okay. That's you know, <laughs> I told you all them contestants are fucking pussies on that show. Like, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. It was all about friendship because literally, like, you just see a whole bunch of people mad cool with each other, which is fine. There's nothing wrong with making friends. I mean, y'all were losers anyways because you didn't make it to the top. So, yeah. but at the same time, I did see. Um, people with my and they didn't look salty with her mm -hmm. so you know it seemed pretty genuine but a picture is a picture is worth a thousand words so who's to know what really is real or not mm -hmm. but yeah I just you know I just thought it was a little interesting that that was the aftermath but all in all kind of a stupid show <laughs> I think so too like looking back at it and just like reminiscing about like everything that happened it I think mm -hmm. overall it was um it didn't live up to the actual show. Maybe it didn't like the beginning. Yeah. Like I thought the whole like red light green light thing and stuff like that was like pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Um, but just the I I can't get over the pussiness and yeah, <laughs> a lot of pussies in there. <laughs> just like the I don't just like the um the extreme dialogue, right? Like it was just mm -hmm. a lot more emotion and yeah then it was like, yeah i guess feelings. i expected it to be more of just like games and not yeah so social i guess yeah i don't know yeah, no, it's funny. It, I, I go back to thinking how you're like, how did you even confuse the two shows? But we literally just like seen Squid Games and clicked play. We did not read the title. Oh. Um, so that's where we just completely missed what we were really getting into. So, gotcha. um, but yeah, I'm kind of glad it's over because it just felt, especially after that finale, I was like, oh, I just wasted my time watching this shit. Yeah, I fell asleep the first time and I had to watch it again. <laughs> Man, but is is there an actual season two coming out for the original show? I don't know. I think so, because that is what I thought this was at first until, right. you know, I saw that it was. Right. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Do you read the title? 
<laughs> um, but I think so, and I think that they're gonna do a second season of this too. The way I mm. think it ended, like asking for um, like volunteers or like whatever the hell. So yeah, they can kiss my ass on that one. Yeah. That was such a waste, and it's like they watch the same shit again. Well, right. Like, how are they gonna make it different? Right. Like, right. Unless you're gonna do yeah. like, the same show with like a small variation in games but keep the staples like the glass bridge and red light green light mm-hmm. uh, right you know? yeah did i mention that my man and i played battleship you didn't mention it um but i know that you hadn't or something yeah so we've never like we've never actually played but then like afterwards you know talking about like the whole game night thing and like that should be a thing so we definitely ended up buying battleship and we played and he lost but we played and it was fun but now i'm blessed that he lost it was it was one in one but you know best out of three and your girl had to just show him how it's done (laughs) so yeah you know it was pretty cool it was actually it was actually more entertaining than i thought it was going to be so Mm -hmm. um but it is a fairly slow paced game so it's like if you just want to chill and sip some wine and play something because that's pretty much what we did then battleship's pretty cool for that so that was nice especially being like an adult like i'm not jumping around and doing extra shit right now right um aside from the fact it was just like it was like nine something at night which is late nowadays so you know (laughs) i wasn't doing much (laughs) but yeah no so it was cool so um and if y'all interested in battleship go ahead and go and get that yeah it'll be a good chill night with some battleship and especially with it being winter now too and not really wanting to come out the house to do anything i thought it was pretty cool no that's true i'm glad that you guys uh bought it and played it i uh Mm -hmm. thanks yeah yeah thanks girl Mm -hmm. Uh, but um yeah so i just um thought this would be a great time to kind of just mention since you know talking about winning and you know we're talking about the squid games and being attentive that we can kind of just mention here this elixir that we are sponsoring here with magic minds um definitely 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 get out there and try it if you've never had it before um i do find it to be a great addition to my morning routine so i'm actually noticing that it is helping me to just last longer throughout the day like that energy there's not really that plummeting um i'm just really just flowing through the day and all i need is really my morning dose mid-morning dose with my morning tea and your girl is good i definitely feel the pressure coming off um i don't know about you girl and how it's been given for you but right now i can definitely say that my focus is on my energy is up and my stress is down (laughs) yes well that is super good because there's no better way than to have all those kind of different aspects right like the energy levels and the stress levels you know, being where they mm-hmm. should be, um, all while doing it in like a natural form and not being hyped up and like all this like sugar from like all these like other kinds of energy drinks and stuff like oh, that. Oh, I know. So, Ugh. um, I I do think it's really cool that um, you know, we are now in this new partnership, um, with mm-hmm. Magic Mind because I like you have also been noticing some similar, um, you know, um, like results from taking yes taking this elixir. And mm-hmm. the focus thing, you know, is a huge thing for me. Um, Girl, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> focus in your memory. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and say that, like, it's replaced my coffee or anything like that yet. Right. But I can definitely tell that it is helping to make a difference um, mm-hmm. in not only just kind of, like, my, like, tiredness levels, because y'all know I get, I have long days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. She has long days and early nights. <laughs> Very much so. Um, you have early mornings and early nights. That's what that is. Yeah. So it's definitely helped um, in that um, in that regard. So mm-hmm. you know, can't go wrong with that, right? Yeah. No, not at all. <laughs> Want to give thanks to that ashwagandha in there, girl. I just love ingredients that sound like that because it's just like, it just feels so next level and it just feels like ashwagandha. Like, yeah. No, we we Right, you're like we ain't talking about no like black pepper, <laughs> you know. It's like ashwagandha. This, this is uh, what is what was it? Ver- um, vibranium. It's like the vibranium oh. from Black Panther. <laughs> ashwagandha. 
Ashwagandha <laughs> from Wakanda. <laughs> I'm done with you. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I think about when you say Ashwagandha. I just think of Ashwagandha what? from Wakanda. <laughs> yes, Ashwagandha is the new vibranium. Get yours. <laughs> But yes, no. So if y'all are if y'all are truly, truly interested in trying this out, we definitely even have a discount for you. Um, if you go to magicmind.com slash mindset talks pod, uh, you can definitely utilize our discount where we have a code set for you, mindset talks 20. So mindset talks 2020. You can go ahead and use that discount code and you could get a little something off on your first try. I'm pretty sure you'll keep coming on back and getting some more, but you know, we want to go ahead and get you in there and get you good. Yes, definitely. So make sure you guys check it out. Check it out. Um, go on Amazon where you can get it as well. Um, but yes, find.com is where it's at. Yes, and you can also find it in Sprouts Farmers Markets across the country. Yes. So, you know, if you're not always about getting things online, which probably most of us are today because that's just how we do things, um, you can still go into the uh, Sprouts Farmers Market stores and get it there too. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna need um, you're gonna need to keep on drinking that too because uh, you know, you got a little something behind you there that I know that you've been focusing on, not focusing on. <laughs> Talk about that oh, <laughs> for <an> oxymoron. <laughs> I can't with you. Oh, man, is just over here putting me on blast for all these side conversations we had before we podcast. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. Tell them, girl. Tell them. Tell the people. All right. Well, okay. So, guys, before we started recording, I had to ask Amanda a question. I don't know how they do things over there in her household um, when it comes to Christmas gifting and hiding gifts and things like that. But over here... Your girl, Cassie, always makes sure that all of her gifts are hidden so that way no one can come across anything. And mm. we know how guys are when it comes to, like, looking for things. So I'm not too worried about it. But mm. my man, on the other hand, he's not the greatest hider. And it's pretty much more of like, um, hey, your gift is over there. So just make sure you don't go and look at it. Oh, my gosh. That's the worst. It really is. Because the restraint that your girl has to have to make sure that she don't go snooping through these things to ruin her surprise Ooh. is very tough, especially when those of you who are watching this on YouTube can see yes. all of these packages behind me. They're all mine, and I can't look <laughs> at them. <laughs> and it is so hard for me to sit here and focus on what's going on in front of me and not what's just sitting there behind yo y'all if she could like take an eyeball out of the socket and toss it over there to just read the labels real quick and then her eye roll back she would oh, she really would i would because it's like it's a kid in a candy store right you're like ooh, like i have gifts like i want to know what it is i don't want to wait like two more weeks like uh, oh my gosh so i'm curious now was there anything specific that you told him you had wanted yes do any of those packages look like anything? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I just, I don't know. I'm going to. Y'all, she's the worst. She really is over here. Like for you, those of you who can't see, she's over here saying, I don't know. I don't know. But she turns her seat sideways so she could take a look at the packages through the screen. So that way she doesn't have to actually turn and look. <laughs> Cause I'm trying not to, but like, come on now. Oh my god. Bed or something. So yeah, we're there. I think the thing is with us over here, we don't actually hide gifts. Um like we're just kind of like last minute gifters too, so it kind of makes it easy where it's just like you don't have to hide. Yeah. Anything. I don't yeah, I don't have to hide anything like just don't touch that box. Like I think it's also gotten to the point where cuz he accidentally opened one of my packages one day, which wasn't actually for him. It was one of my packages. Mm -hmm. But you know, sometimes you're just like opening things because it just it feels like a gift because you're opening it. Right. And so I was mad. I was like, don't be just opening everybody's packages up in here. Like, was your name on that? Mm -hmm. So I think maybe I instilled like a little like 
discomfort into him for when a package comes he's just like well i'm not touching that <laughs> might even have his own name on it he won't even touch it so oh um we don't really have to worry about that but um our anniversary will have passed by the time this episode drops mm. so i actually do have his anniversary gift that's hiding Aww. um did slightly threaten him don't touch the box don't look at the box so i was able to get his gift out of that box and go hide it so oh. um i don't know if he realizes that i hit it you know, um, well, if he's behaving and not looking, then he wouldn't. He's know. he's not a seeker. So I don't really That's have it. to. Yeah, I don't really have to worry about that. And I honestly put minimal effort into hiding it. So it was just like, well, I mean, if he comes across it, then shame on him. <laughs> because then I know he was actually looking for it at that point. Oh. Um, because it's just, you know, certain places where they don't go in the house. Right. You just know. So yeah. it's like, all right, well. It would have to be for them to, like, trip over it for them to, like, look. I, that's still slightly questionable around here, but, you know. Love you, boo. Ain't going to say nothing more on that. So, um, and so you were also mentioning in our sidebar that this is something that's fairly traditional in your family lifestyle of gift hiding. Oh, so kind of, yeah. There's, like, a few different things that, like, branched off of this conversation. So... <laughs> <laughs> yes, one of them being, I just remember like growing up and stuff, and my dad would always get so pissed off at my mom because mm. he would actually be the guy that goes out of his way and like make sure he hides gifts so that way, you know, you won't find them, you won't come across them. Such he doesn't a just good dad. Leave them in plain sight. In the corner for you to walk fast <laughs> um, on a day to day basis. Exactly. <laughs> Um, he would actually like hide them, but my mom just, I don't know, being my mom just gets into everything, every nook, every cranny, no matter what it is, she gets into Ciao. it and no matter where he would hide these things. And like, I would say they're like pretty good hiding spots, right? Like it's mm -hmm. not just kind of like, you know, thrown somewhere like where you, and you just open a door and see it. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. But she would always find her gifts. And whether she's doing it intentionally or not, I still don't really know the answer to that question. It might be a little bit of both. Um, oh, my goodness. But she would always find them. And she wouldn't even be like, oh, my God, I think that's, like, for me. And, like, put it back or whatever. No. She'll go. She'll, like, open it. She'll go through everything. And she'll just, like, ruin the entire Oh, my thing. gosh. She's, like, the worst. Oh my gosh! Um, Dang, she even tried to play it off. She's just like, "Oh, gift. Yeah. Guess it needs to be opened." And she's like, "Oh, I found my like necklace or whatever, like downstairs in the pantry or like whatever the hell, you know." Oh my gosh! She would get so mad. It was just, it was. But great. would still continuously hide gifts year after year. Yep, he would still try. <laughs> mm, it's like she's over here, like, "Oh, is, it, are, is this a scavenger hunt?" <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, well, I told y'all before, right? Like, they used to have that whole little vibe going on with, like, him hiding scratch-off tickets around the house. Yes. Find them. So I think that she just yeah. didn't get the memo that, like, Christmas gifts <laughs> Stop. Are, are not a part. <laughs> <laughs> Those awesome. are off limits. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it's just interesting to just kind of think about that and just see, like, if, if these were my mom's gifts, she mm -hmm. would know everything about them. She would have been in them and like right. it would have been destroyed. But she would have had the weight packaging and, and Tony everything on how to use it. This girl over here about to knock over her <laughs> setup. So excited about them gifts behind you. I was gonna give myself a pat on the back because I swear <laughs> that I haven't touched or looked at anything. So Oh my goodness. Yeah. Nope. Over here it's really really not the same. So when it comes to the amount of gifts over there um are you rethinking your gift giving so that was all yes, that, you. <laughs> that was for those of y'all that are just listening i just keep slowly moving my chair away so i can see the gift behind me um, oh my gosh what were we talking about i was asking if you were <laughs> rethinking your gift giving now that oh, you oh, see oh. pretty much what you have and what you've hidden for him do you think that there's more you should do or are you satisfied with what you got him no I'm definitely not satisfied because I mean I think I got him a decent amount of things but mm -hmm. um something that I don't know if I've talked about on the podcast before but I know that you know this is like I grew up with a lot of stuff um Christmas yeah you had a lot of stuff Christmas gifts was never <laughs> Yeah, 
Christmas, they had a lot of stuff, guys. Christmas gifts were never. Um, I was very blessed when it came to Christmas time, right? Like I definitely, I wasn't one that you know had to guess or struggle or you know mm-hmm. not really be able to enjoy all of the things. Um, and so I'm just used to an abundance of stuff, right? Yeah, y'all had a lot of stuff. So <laughs> that's all I can say. So that is just a a norm for me that like I grew up with and trying mm-hmm. to gel that into this new life that like I'm creating with him has mm-hmm. been a struggle because I want to buy 5000 things and if I don't have mm-hmm. 5000 things I'm not satisfied and I feel like I'm not doing enough for him. Yeah. But he was on the complete other side of that right he didn't really get a lot for christmas and Mm -hmm. there's like one gift that like he talks about all the time like it a whole bunch of stuff wasn't something that like he grew up with and so just Mm -hmm. getting like you know three things or whatever is sufficient for him and he feels like you know that's good enough um Mm -hmm. so trying to get accustomed to to that different dynamic has been a little challenging (laughs) meeting in the middle Um, yes and so like i feel like i got just enough things like Mm -hmm. it's not as many as like i feel like i should be getting but i i think that like it's enough but then like i Mm -hmm. see all of this there she go turning in her chair again (laughs) <laughs> I see all of this behind me, and I know one of them is new because that wasn't there the other day. This chick is tracking what is there by day. <laughs> I am done. Get out of the room. <laughs> tell him to put a sheet over it. <laughs> tell him to put it in the closet. I'm going to have to tell him something because I can't help myself. I mean, I can. I'm not going to look. I promise. I'm not going to look. But. Oh my goodness. Just seeing like more things like pile up over there. Like I Mm -hmm. feel like I need to now turn around and go get more things. Oh my gosh. That's hard though. And yeah, because it's funny because when you say that, like I'm more along the same side of him as in like compared to what I grew up with versus what I seen at y'all house. Yeah, y'all definitely had an abundance. Like, you already opened gifts in the morning, and I come over in the afternoon, you're still got more gifts, like a bunch of gifts left to open. It's like, <laughs> god damn, like, would they wrap like each item individually around here? I don't know what's going on, but no, you guys definitely did. And I do um, agree with that feeling of wanting to just buy everything, right? Mm-hmm. Just get an abundance. Like, yeah, I'm getting a gift for someone, but I want to get them like either something like really, really good or like many really good things. Right. And it's hard. And I can definitely say that was one of my main things as to why I wasn't really into celebrating Christmas because I was in a predicament before where I put myself in debt buying Christmas gifts, like no lie. <laughs> I had spent more money than I needed to be spending on Christmas gifts because mm-hmm. I wanted to make sure I got many nice things for many people. So for me, that was like, whoa, like a major setback and was just like, yo, F this holiday, then that put me in debt, you know? So mm. I was looking at it from the wrong perspective, but definitely quality over quantity. Um, I think that is most important than not. Yeah. And also just the fact that you're even gifting someone, I think is just, it speaks volumes, right? Like mm-hmm. you're, like you're spending your money, you're taking your time to get this for someone. Right. So, um, you know, I'm pretty sure what you have is sufficient for him and I'm sure he's going to be happy with it. Um, and, and at the same time, Again, this is a, and it's it's a part of a religion, but it's also a retail holiday. If we're going to be honest, it's 2023, so that's a part of Christmas. We don't have to wait until this day to get gifts. So if you feel like right. what he got you, you know, like blows what you got, like blows it out of the water compared to what you got him, just get him something later. That's all. Well, he says that every year. He says that he's the better gift giver, and he always gets the better gift. And oh damn I don't he's like... so cocky i can't stand him he is so cocky for that one <laughs> he is and then it's like it's hard and i feel like i get super stressed out because i'm like mm-hmm. i have to find like the perfect gift and i feel like yes. i've never been able to, <laughs> to do that yet but then it's also hard because it's like what do you get someone that can get whatever they want anything for themselves you know yeah they don't need someone else to like get stuff for them and half the things that like Mm -hmm. they really want they've already done for themselves yes like i can't really top that if you already get everything that like you need you know yeah 
nope, oh. completely understood. That's why I didn't get my man's gift yet. <laughs> I got I got gifts for the nieces and nephews and for my baby, which I didn't get her a lot because I already know from her grandmother is just gonna be overwhelming and we don't have much space left in here. So yeah. um, but my man, hardest person to get a gift for right now. And I he's like, just get get me an experience, like let's go somewhere and do something like it doesn't have to be a physical item and i'm like bitch that's just as hard as getting a physical item like <laughs> oh thank you for saying that to make it easier oh that was not any easier you know yeah. so i definitely understand just trying to be able to figure that out so yes. if you come across anything good let me know because i could use a hint or two <laughs> just uh, uh after this just go ahead and uh let me know what you got him and i can see if there's anything i can work with too no <laughs> we'll do actually <laughs> oh man no it's it's hard out there but you know that's also the good thing about having friends right we all can share ideas and uh just kind of mm -hmm. just take bits and pieces from each other and piece something together for someone else if need be yeah no definitely uh and it's also another good reason why we've been introduced to this magic mind because I'm telling you, this anxiety about Christmas shopping and gifts and all this nonsense is wild. Yeah, I'll say this is the most relaxed I've ever been. And I'm working my way back into the holiday spirit. So um, we'll give big thanks to that because, oof, child, you know, good. you know where I've been. <laughs> you know where I've been. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right. Well, I don't think I have anything more to say about any of that. I think I've said my piece. <laughs> yes, girl. No, thank you for sharing that. And thanks for sharing your gifts with us. We cannot wait to hear what you got as long as it's all appropriate to share or you're comfortable with sharing. So <sighs> we look forward to um, hearing what that is. And uh, we'll go ahead and wrap it on up. And until next time. Bye, guys. Bye.